lot of things going on in the in the public space in terms of trying cases in the public and making your um, layman decision of guilt. Well, he better come it. But Jaden Chase, they have met the fans them know what really are going on. What you talking about? Is Jaden Place? Smith up to the time, you know, a cartel. I represent for Jaden Chase. We spray them face when the AK race. Smith up to the time, you know, the Gaza station. Yeah, man, now move settings nation. And we no need no ladder. Now, welcome to the channel. Yeah, man, Jaden Chase, and I want to bring on another exciting and important reason for the topic of dance hall, entertainment, and of course, current affairs. So, if you're new to the channel, just a pass through. But you like the reason, of course, you like the point of view. Well, I'm suggesting to you that you click the subscribe icon and then kick in the like button. Long, let's get right into the reasoning. Nation never notice. I wonder why mainstream media always try to paint Vibes Cartel as the villain. It is because they are influenced by the state. And we see it recently when the popular Jamaican newspaper partnered with specific members of the church and painted Vibes Cartel as the villain, called for his baptism and used it to promote the church and, and their endeavors. The state is always trying to control the narrative. And that is why they choose the type of stories when they bring up on the news and why they don't like when prominent entertainers like Buju and Bounty and even the vloggers discuss situations where they take place. Well, Isaac Buchanan has caught the state red-handed viewers and subscribers with using the mainstream media to paint Vibes Cartel's guilt. That is a violation of your constitutional right. You are presumed innocent. Until proven otherwise. May I make it here from Isaac Buchanan himself and they will continue the reason. That is in breach of the constitution because everybody is cloaked in the presumption of innocence. You know that not only was the allegation of the phone tampering and evidence that it was used while he was in custody, but the means by which they tried to access the information was a breach of constitutional rights because there there were things in place and it wasn't it was it was backdoored and 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 used in yes viewers and subscribers now let's continue the reasoning now the state has been doing this for years and they have done this in numerous cases and numerous occasions recently popcorn said his traffic violation was reported to the media by officers and seen as he was just a regular traffic stop and the media was not there in Vibes Cartel's case, how is it that newspaper outlets was already talking of so-called video footage, text messages and voice notes even before those so-called pieces of evidence was used in court? And why was that decision made by the state? They did that to paint Vibes Cartel as guilty. Have you ever noticed how the mainstream media publicized the story about the juror? was accused what about the officers who lost evidence the officers who received the cds from digicel and last one the officers who were in charge of the device who left it carelessly and allowed it to be used to make calls what about the people who tried to access encrypted data on the phone and then piece it back together and present it as evidence these stories are never publicized by the media. If enough of a blogger and Isaac Buchanan every now and then when he take these interviews and disclose certain things, people wouldn't know. And that is how they control the narrative. Many people are saying, why are you talking about the appeal? Because of the injustice. What I notice with people is that some people want change, but no want to do nothing about it and feel like it's a change that could just happen suddenly. Are you expecting change from the people? Who you yourself are pointing to as the problem, the change now got forward from this. You have a push for change. Vibes Carter have a push for him freedom. Look where Guana the initial trial. Look where Guana the appeal. And then look at all that has been revealed with the evidence with them use. And Vibes Carter did say a thing. Them say, and he heard. So them hide certain things in our books. And him say, hey, if I this or them hide it, well, they now hide it from me because I read. When majority of these articles are published by mainstream media, these parts of the articles are normally way into the story and most people read from the headline. So after them see the headline and them read a couple paragraphs, that is it. 
and the system know this and this is how they continue to change the narrative them use the media for paint vibes cartel as a villain with no proof and here we know they had no proof majority of the same things that they told the media yes and it had to be the pro- it had to be the, the state we now call any specific state entity because we don't know where it followed from but it had to be from the state because the state was the person with the phone or the entity with the phone and if you even start to think about it even this recent victory against the state isn't being televised or publicized like when the state hand out or handed out their rulings and made their decisions well nation these actions are not just wrong it not just look away it not just unfair it is unlawful violations against your constitutional rights are against the law and where the state is concerned it cannot be one law for some and one law for others we have seen them try to implement these measures but we will not stand for them and then cannot use the law when it is convenient for them the law is the law and if you can't do it you can't do it how dear you get fragmented messages piece them together for paint your picture to tell your story and then present that as evidence without disclosing say that you do and when you did disclose it it happened in open court and that was say all right i saw them get evidence why the mainstream media never talk about that why was that no not a big topic of discussion where they must say wait this is what the state did to create evidence why wasn't that not a topic because the state no want that and as i pointed out majority of the mainstream media outlets are state influenced if not directly state owned think about it the rjr group and broadcast jamaica for those who know anything about the media that is almost one entity that is almost like how consolidated bakers own whole a different bakery and people might see them as their own individual bakeries not knowing they are one group based on shareholders and board members one thing we can say though isaac buchanan as a liar definitely fit for the case do him articulate the circumstances and put them into perspective i'm gonna feel like that was the aim of the initial or the previous legal team meaning say these constitutional violations were exposed after the trial took place and on the nation as the information presents itself we are going to decode it because if left to the mainstream media alone they will paint their own narrative and what most people don't know is that after certain cases are concluded we say certain because there are cases that are closed to the public because of the nature of that case and the individuals were involved but for the better part after cases are concluded at the court there are no public knowledge they are even used in law school when lawyers are study law this information can be accessed by the public the mainstream media journalists them know it they the regular individual and his day-to-day may have never thought to search for that but it can be googled i'm glad to see your eyes up and found out and point out to the people that the media was used by the state to paint vibes cartel and his co-accused in a negative light and it's also why they don't like when certain influential people talk about certain current situations because they don't want the narrative to shift and this this is not happening in jamaica all countries across the globe try to control the news we are followed to them country i want the reason why china is so strict why they don't like when you video certain things and you know what i mean they're not too into that because they want to control the narrative remember when even what i take place worldwide they just start over this so remember the journalists where break the story was jailed just for telling the story just for saying that this was taking place this individual was placed behind the bars which line broke me no no what them last system set up over there but just for telling the people that through online media he was jailed 
So certain countries like for control the news we have followed in them country. That's why more white people don't really know what's going on a certain place until the story followed out. And it is the same in Jamaica. Certain stories will never make it onto the news. Based on the people that are involved and you know what are taking place. They might go say other things gain precedence over that. And that is why that story was not aired. They might have their own reasons. And you now can't prove them wrong neither. Because them control them radio station, them TV station, and them newspaper outlet. And them choose to run the story where the editor or whoever is in charge choose to run. Sometimes journalists even actually do the story and then decide to say, oh no, that not fit into what we are dealing with today. So now always hear me I point it out. It's good to hear Isaac Buchanan, an attorney at law, appointed it out to me. So this is a thing that is being done. And them do it on numerous occasions. People just don't notice. But that's something will happen. And it's not only wrong, it's against the law. That can't take place. The Privy Council will be looking at that decision. They may go look on the facts that the whole evidence were used, tampered with, and the facts that them you them all give information to the media. We could have only come from state entities. Couldn't come from nowhere else. Couldn't come from the common man. Couldn't come from nobody were just not like the teacher. It had to forward from individuals who were in the know. I will not retire, get new job, I will not go on over park, go on over park. It's almost like nothing gonna happen. No consequences. That is unlawful. Vice the one called Jaden Chase, the dance hall correspondent, the guards representative, I said, reminding them now. If you're new to the channel, new to the movement, just a pass through. But you like the reason, and of course, you like the point of view. Well, I'm suggesting to you that you click the subscribe icon and then the bell icon right after that and put it on all. And this is how you know you'll be notified of all fresh content as soon as fresh content is uploaded and made available for you right here on the platform. The like icon is also in close proximity to the share icon. Drop a like and bust a share. Tell a friend, tell a friend, tell them, sister, and them, brother, them, for check out the channel, check out the reason, join the discussion, comment section. 24 7 it never lack yet just be respectful and mindful of the guidelines but other than that drop your thoughts your comments and yes your opinions there and we can continue the reasoning from right there you know the sentiments and for those who don't first and foremost our move settings fam and we na need na ladder and my sentiments for you and yours is of course we wanna live love and prosper until we reason again